today we're here at the BBGF, which is actually put on 50%. 50%? No, not quite. 70? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> right, so, so CGS puts in about, what, 20% of the work? Yeah. If that, we're being generous. <laughs> Lewis from LT Guitars puts in the majority of the work, and um, I would say it's been a pleasure meeting you, but I've just played this guitar and um, I'm having a bit of a crisis now. And it's not the time of year that I can afford to have this kind of crisis. But, so this is Lewis from uh, LT Guitars. Um, thank you for being on my channel and thank you for kind of for introducing me to this guitar. Pleasure, nice to meet you. This is the pioneer. I want Lewis to just tell us a bit about the guitar, go over the specs. Yeah, so this was, it actually, I'd had it designed for a while, but the whole lockdown thing a few years ago gave me a chance to actually start producing them. And in my head, I, you know, a weird train of thought was, you know, being more of a Strat person myself, if a guitar could evolve, you know, would it basically change it? You know, like how species evolve yeah. over time. Then, so I kind of made it a little bit more offset, made it a little bit more angular on the horns with deeper cutaways, and then of course made it like a double fat thing with two high output humbuckers in there. But at the same point, I had the player in mind because as well as being a, a builder I do play myself and thought well we'll keep this kind of stripped back in looks but still offering big output humbuckers that will roll off really nicely and then the, the whole clean look and it's one of those things some people don't even notice it until you mention it but even the humbuckers are rear routed on this there's a few control panels on the back but it, it, I think it adds to a bit of a cleaner look um, on this and again being a player these had to be realistic weights that if you are going to play night after night or multiple times a week you don't want to be doing that with a nine and a half pound guitar so these come in around six pounds finished there are options so you can go on the website and customize what there's a couple of body woods neck woods fingerboard woods uh, and stuff like that and this one here what what um, what woods have we got going so we've here? got uh, a two-piece swan patch body then the rosewood fretboard and head veneer and then on the back is a three-piece maple neck yeah it's it, what i think so far has been the most common combination of those so and this is the p1 model that is stripped back and it's got the oil finish the p2s uh, are just about to come out and they're the ones if you want more bling right. you know so you can have it so like a fancier top. top fancier top you can have them all in gloss spray finishes same shape exactly the same shape still rear routed same hardware you can choose whether you want black or, or gold but yeah just a few more options it just depends what about you, color options so if you want to do a solid color we can even do the p1s in right. solid color so there is a bit of a, an upcharge for that but and stains and yeah we can use yeah and... exactly yeah we can we can stain all sorts of, of wacky bursts and I did a galaxy swell on a on a guitar for somebody recently. Hip shot, hip shot hardware. Again, shot. I wanted something that a is going to be a, you're going to be able to get hold of it, and b actually has a good reputation yeah. for being something pretty. Yeah, decent. yeah, I'm a massive fan of the hip shot stuff, um, yeah. especially the tuners, the locking tuners. So Alchemy, he's um, up in North or somewhere. He's somewhere in Yorkshire, and he's I've been working with him for a while, and he just winds outrageously good pickups in such a way he really knows you know how to pair up magnets and um, wiring and gauges and all this and I said to him what this was going to be geared up for I want it to do everything like you know I want it to do a lot right up hard rock and metal but I, on, a, on the roll off I want you to be able to come back and hit those classic rock tones you know and so he's called these like an overwhelmed path he's given them a name called heart Sean. I don't know what right. it means they're overwhelmed in the sense the bridge is 17k and the neck is around 13 but they don't sound yeah 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 so yeah and do you know what he hasn't he hasn't put me wrong on them so So that's clean, but that's not why we buy these. <laughs> Thank you. 
Can't you? It's loads of game on that, obviously, because you know it's me. But um, <laughs> yeah, love this guitar. Love the feel of it. The necks. I, I compared it earlier to a um, like a Schecter SLS, which is their sort of thinner alternative to like um, like the Wizard kind of thing, just not as wizardy. Yeah, I, I didn't want to go too thin with it. Yeah. And uh, having done a few guitars with what I call of my like super soft V, there is. A, that you can mm. still feel the V there, but it's not super prominent yeah. like some of the, the really chunky ones. So, and a lot of people said that's quite a comfortable profile. So yeah, it's thin, but it's still kind of got a reassuring amount there that you kind of feel comfortable, especially yeah. at a gig. You know, you kind of adrenaline goes a little bit, and you get a bit more to feel that kind of a bit more secure. It's just a, it's just nice. I wish I had something bad to say about it. <laughs> I mean, feel free to. <laughs> He's also a really good cook as well. Oh, thank you. Um, he's been very generous this weekend, and uh, yeah, I think he made a lot of people very happy. Oh, good. <laughs> a bit weird now, but well, you know, it was paella today. It was paella. Chicken and chorizo. It was. It was, it was. It was good paella. Cool. Yeah. Everybody enjoyed it. Um, so let's try the um, the boring one. Yeah. So this is the custom tee from LT Guitars and. Lewis was telling me earlier how he thought he'd start doing a T-style guitar because they're selling really well and he wanted to make loads of money and um, so he sold out. <laughs> Tell us a bit more about that. Yeah, uh, I, you know, lying in bed one night and I thought to myself, what does the guitar industry need? It needs There's another, definitely a lack of yeah. a lack of, of T-style guitars out there. So I thought I'm gonna I'm gonna shake it up a bit and yeah. you know really yeah take this market by storm. But in all seriousness, this is this has got a really thin kind of um, coat of nitro, and it feels really good. And there is a shortage of UK-made custom-built nitro finished guitars at this kind of price range, which is. They start at fifty nine nine. Yeah. The one that one because it's got a few upgrades like the baked bird's eye fingerboard um, and the baked maple neck. That comes in at sixteen seventy four ninety nine. Yeah. But even if you threw, uh, I'm going to borrow from my friend Matt Fidelity. He used a wonderful phrase last year at this show: the blunderbuss of options. If you shot it, the blunderbuss of options on the website, because you can go and spec this up on our website, it would still come in under 1900, like for everything, with all the wiring upgrades, everything. And there are six of sort of the classic nitro colours to choose what from. Colours well. So we've got, you know, black and white, you've got surf green, daphne blue, butterscotch, and I believe it's fiesta red rather than the other red that is escaping me. Dakota? This. Dakota Red, yeah. I think it's Fiesta Red. I do like Fiesta Red. Um, but my favourite colour for a guitar is, uh, is Surf Green. Not to be confused with Seafoam Green. Because who, if you do, what happens? Well, well who, we don't know. Who would make that mistake? <laughs> I can in, possibly. <laughs> or was it Adam? One of them. Yeah. Terrible people. Just know your greens, people. Yeah, it's important. It is important. Nothing better than a surf, uh, the surf green. I almost said seafoam. Yeah. Green. <laughs> <laughs> than a seafoam green telly or a T-type uh, guitar. Yeah, I think considering it is you know a fifties color, 
it still doesn't look out of place today. I don't even understand. Why don't you buy a black guitar? When you've got colours like this. I, you know what, being left-handed, oh, yeah, yeah, we, you, know, you, know, you go into a, a guitar shop and it's you've got black or, if you're lucky, a wine red option. Or sector. <laughs> now you do. Back, you know, 15 odd years ago, um, no, it was, yeah. you, you literally had black, wine, red, if sometimes there'd be a white one. Yeah, or it's definitely a sunburst. That oh, was yeah, that yeah. one. Um, but I'm not offering an easy sunburst because you don't want a sunburst one. Wait, wait, why don't you want a sunburst one? Too many sunbursts. Yeah. Yeah. And then you get in the argument over is it three tone, three -tone or, or two tone? Two -tone. Yeah. For me, it's two tone. Mm. I think a two tone burst with a black guard looks really cool. Yeah. But then most people will hate that and <laughs> tell me I'm wrong. And that's fine. So we don't even open that up for a discussion. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm regretting that I even bought it up. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. We'll make up later. Has this got a four-way or a This one is a three-way okay. wiring. The other one we looked at had the four-way and the phase, we, out of phase, yeah. um, the phase. We would have switch. shown that one, but apparently we're not allowed. We're not allowed to. We're under an NDA this, yeah. from a really strict YouTuber. Yeah, apparently um, we're, not important. we're not important enough. I'm no, sure, so. so, you know, even my hands are tied on, on that one. But yeah, the four-way switching is an option, which means obviously you kind of get both pickups acting like a humbucker then, which is really cool. And then, it's nice yeah, to have, yeah. Yeah, absolutely, just, it's, why not? It's another sound, isn't yeah. it? If you just are aware that when you go all the way up, you're not in yeah. the neck anymore. But I mean, it's considerable output difference. Yeah. So you I will just imagine it takes a little bit of getting used to it. Yeah, I think yeah. so, yeah. And then if you ask nicely, I will do the phase reverse. How nicely though? Fairly nicely, you know, Money? I'm still a human being. Sounds like a tea type. Yeah. Sounds great, obviously. Really good weight. Um, I know you're keeping the others around sort of six pounds. Is there a kind of weight that you aim for with this? Well, with this one, because again, you've got a few choices with woods. That one's made from Polonia, and that one comes in at five pounds, eight ounces. Made from what? A wood called Polonia. It's Polonia? P Polonium? Polonia. Yeah. Sounds not a bit nuclear to me. <laughs> not quite, no. Well, it's, it's the fastest growing tree on the planet. Because of that, it's far less... The radioactive tree. Radioactive tree, oh, yeah. yes. Um, but it helps keep the weight down. And it, it actually makes... The other one was made of swamp ash. And when you pick them up side by side, it does make that feel like a heavy guitar. Really? But actually, it's not. A bit like that. If, you, if you're a player and you're going to pick it up and play, you, you don't want to be night no, after no, night no, with no, heavy no, guitars, no. you know. What is it bird's eye? Ba bird's baked eye. bird's eye. So yeah, it's just little things like that that help make it more unique and more yours. And then the like the subtle forearm contour on the front, 
um, and yeah, and a bit of sculpting on the back, just to help modernise but still keep that yeah. kind of traditional roots as such. And you've got the um, three saddle bridge. The three saddle bridge, so... This, so you, who wants to insulate anyway? <laughs> <laughs> so this was a discussion, oh, exactly, a discussion I had with uh, the chap who owns the other one uh, and you know he did help, he had some, some input in the design process and that and you know all the T-types I've done to this point have all been six saddle right. bridges and he said no no we want these to feel a bit more vintagey and you know he wanted the ashtray bridge with the three saddles so I did try and get the in tune Compensated, compensated ones, ones yeah. which is about as best as you can get with a three saddle yeah. bridge, isn't it? But are, are they used the compensated ones? Yes. Okay. Yeah, ever so slightly. Yeah. They're not as notched as like the original F ones, but the points. If you took the string off and looked, the points at which they are coming over the brass. For me, it's just it always looks wrong with the six saddle. I love the yeah. look of this. And obviously, we will take aesthetic over function. Absolutely, we're funny creatures. Obviously, like yeah. That, but uh, um, yeah, I love it. So, Lewis, can you tell me where we can find more information about LT guitars? Yep. If you go to LT custom guitars, LT custom. I've missed that out so every time I've mentioned it. The it's got LT on the headstock. So, where can we find out more information about LT custom guitars? Yeah, if, on the website or, or the Instagram or wherever. But if you go to www.ltcustomguitars.co.uk. The link to all the social media is on there. All the virtual guitar builders are on there. The galleries on there. Everything and you know emails. Cool. I, can't, I haven't actually checked it out myself, so I'm looking forward what? to. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm looking forward to trying it out later. So I'll, I'll some bedtime viewing for tonight. LT Custom Guitars website. All the links will be in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much, Lewis. Thank you, Mike. And we will see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>